In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have the strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Shout for all you are worse, raise your voice like a trumpet. Proclaim their faults to my people, their sins to the house of Jacob. They seek me day after day, they long to know my ways, like a nation that wants to act with integrity and not ignore the law of its God. They ask me for laws that are just. They long for God to draw near. Why should we fast if you never see it? Why do penance if you never notice? Look, you do business on your fast days. You oppress all your workmen. Look, you quarrel and squabble when you fast and strike the poor man with your fist. Fasting like yours today will never make your voice heard on high. Is that the sort of fast that pleases me, a truly penitential day for men? Hanging your head like a reed, lying down on sackcloth and ashes. Is that what you call fasting, a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this the sort of fast that pleases me? It is the Lord who speaks. To break unjust fetters and undo the thongs of the yoke. To let the oppressed go free and break every yoke. To share your bread with the hungry and shelter the homeless poor. To close the man you see to be naked and not turn from your own kin. Then will your light shine like the dawn, and your wound be quickly healed over. Your integrity will go before you, and the glory of the Lord behind you. Cry, and the Lord will answer. Call, and he will say, I am here. The Word of the Lord A humbled, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offence. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. A humbled, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. My offences, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. A humbled, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit. A humbled, contrite heart, you will not spurn. A humbled, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word, because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. O Lord. John's disciple came to Jesus and said, Why is it that we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not? Jesus replied, Surely the bridegroom's attendants would never think of mourning as long as the bridegroom is still with them. But the time will come for the bridegroom to be taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
for the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and then they will fast. Our bridegroom, Lord Jesus, was taken away from his disciples and was tortured. He suffered and then he was crucified to death. And then the disciples will fast. And my dear friends, we continue fasting, especially during this season of Lent, to unite ourselves to the sufferings of Christ. But why do we fast? What is the purpose of our Christian fasting? Do we fast merely to show the Lord that we've done a lot of things that we're able to sacrifice, and so therefore God has to give us what we want? And I think you already know by me asking this question that the answer is no. That we should be fasting so that we do not cling on to what we want, but we allow God to reveal to us what God wants. And what does God want? Listen to our first reading from the prophet Isaiah. It is not this sort of fast that pleases me. It is the Lord who speaks to break unjust fetters, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, to break every yoke. God wants our freedom to break whatever is weighing us down, to set us free from disordered desires, from the struggles with difficult emotions and relationships. And so this fasting allows us to recognize that God and God alone is enough for us. And what are the other things that, yes, that we need in life, but really are not essential, and some of which are taking us away from God. And so my dear friends, today on this Friday after Ash Wednesday, as we begin our Lenten practice observance, let these 40 days that leads us to the Paschal mystery, let these days be days of desiring the Lord and to desire what He wants of us, especially for our spiritual lives. God desires our union because love demands union. But very often it's our own love for other things that prevent us from this intimate union with the Lord. And so with this desire in our hearts, let us go forth and to allow God to walk with us in this spiritual journey. And so that this fasting is not so much of um, dreadful sacrifice, but it becomes a joyful walk with the Lord, that we rejoice in this journey with the Lord so much that we forget that we need so many other things in our lives, and that this journey is truly a journey of rejoicing. And trusting in God's mercy and love, let us now pray in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds, and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. For your mighty deeds, O God of mercy, may your people offer endless thanks, and by observing the age-old disciplines along their pilgrim journey, may they merit to come and behold you forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.